you're someone who is uncomfortable showing up on camera for your brand or business, you likely have a fear of rejection, which is totally common. Actually, I have a feeling that most human beings can say that in their lifetime, they've had some sort of fear of rejection. That could be rejection of how you look, how you're presented in your video, how you speak, if you're fumbling your words. You could even have fear of rejection when it comes to your brand and the, and the product or the service that you sell. And if you feel comfortable enough that people actually want to invest in that, that fear of rejection is real. So if that's you, it's totally okay and you're not alone but I'm gonna give you some tips to help you to get more comfortable on camera so that you can show up for your brand or business in a way that helps you make connections with your viewers the very first thing that I want you to do is to drop the perfectionism it's something that we absolutely have to get rid of because we're in a day and age now where consumers are actually investing in brands where they feel like they can relate to that brand if you're showing up and you're poised and professional all the time and you're stoic and you're spitting words at people to promote your product or service they are never going to feel relatable to you. And that's the number one thing that you want is to actually be relatable to your audience. For instance, some may think that it's actually really unprofessional of me to show up in this video on a business account in a grungy sweatshirt and doing my makeup. But the reality is, is that my goal here is to show that I'm relatable. Yes, I am a social media manager, but at the same time, I'm just like you. I don't have to be so professional. I can still be an expert and show you the real me at the same time. The second tip that I have to make it easier to show up on camera and to talk about your brand, your product, your service, or how you help people is for you to do something that you love to do at the same time. This is why I like to do my makeup while I'm talking on camera, because for me, it takes a lot of pressure off of what I'm saying and I can speak freely because at the same time, I'm actually concentrating a lot on what I'm doing with my face and everything that I'm saying is coming from the heart and it's not scripted. So for you, that might look like making a cup of coffee in the morning and talking to the camera at the same time or going for a walk with your dog and talking to the camera. I don't know how practical that is, but you could do it. So when you're starting out, just show up doing something that you love and talk to the camera like you're talking to a friend about your brand or product or service and it will come natural to you. You shouldn't necessarily have to script anything. You could do bullet points but really and truly you're the expert and to show that you're an expert you need to talk freely the third tip that I have and probably the most practical is just to show up and practice in my opinion the best way to start practicing is to start utilizing Instagram stories and I don't mean your brand or businesses Instagram stories get on your personal Instagram account and just start showing up every day for a month start talking about things that you love what you're doing for the day experiences that you're having and the more that you find yourself on camera the easier it will get and the more comfortable you'll be talking to nobody I promise that if you can commit to doing this for 30 days, you will see a dramatic difference in how you actually show up as yourself on camera.